Hey folks, welcome back. Mike here and we're watching more Cuphead show and I am very excited because I think I'm finally getting my wish. This is episode eight of season two, release the demons, which can only mean it's the one and only devil. We're finally getting a devil episode, it looks like, and I'm so pumped because by far one of the biggest highlights of the of the first season of the show and just to get to see him finally again, you know, he was featured not super prominently, but he was in quite a, he was in quite a few episodes in the first season. And for for this to take till episode eight to finally to see him is uh longer than I expected, but I'm really looking forward to this one so much. Oh, the music! <laughs> what a perfect choice there. It's him. It's the devil. Never thought I'd be so excited to see the devil in anything. Hmm. <laughs> I miss this voice. Turn that frown upside down. Oh no. I love how dramatic he is. Your fur's almost all grown back. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Looks like someone needs his calming tea poured in his favorite cup. I could go for some tea. Oh no, he's triggered. Oh no. <laughs> hey, dummy, I still have my soul. Oh no. <laughs> oh, yes. That's it. I'm throwing everything I've got in that cup. Oh, wow. We're throwing the kitchen sink at him. Ooh, we're getting to see some more demons. Wow. L listen, that character just brings a certain gravitas, right? He has such a presence on this show when he's on screen. It's He's so well written and so well acted. Oh. This is for a costume? It's just like that horse head that scared you when we were little. What horse head? The one from the hay maze, remember? You froze I don't in remember terror. this. I have never frozen in terror. Uh. Oh my god, look at them! Look how cute! The little buck tooth. Uh. Wow, literally frozen in terror. Called it. He did say it. Uh oh. Are we going back? You never wear a coat. Oh my god, I love that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> now these are some world-class demons. Oh, this one has razor sharp talons. Uh, and this one has three heads. Look at the henchman's face. Oh, hey, hey. Look at the muscles. <laughs> the <little> squeaking. <laughs> oh, look how that's drawn. Oh, the eyes. Never before have I been subjected to such criminal disrespect by a mortal. Oh, I love how that is animated. You gotta be kidding. Then he goes on roll the dice, which is impossible to lose. And wouldn't you know it, he couldn't name... Oh, I wonder if King Dice is in this episode. I mean, who can't name Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Oh, it's beautiful. Did he just kill them? He did. Jesus Christ. He just murdered them. Dice! Wayne Brady is back. He just murdered and killed those demons. <laughs> oh, wow. They actually have coats. Those are nice. The hay mazing hay maze. I love their coats. So they have yet to ever change this hay maze. Twinkle, twinkle, oh, he's telling the whole story again. And then he had this, this, this sweater. It was invisible and impenetrable. The invisible sweater was really cool. Oh, God. He did it again. He freaking did it again. That is brilliant. I love how the henchman pulled it back. He's not impressed. These are my finest demons. Oh. Now they are. 
Ooh, I do not like that spider guy. Oh. This music's so fitting. Ew, the eyes. Oh, the one wing is messed up. Oh, I hate it so much. What's your deal? A cyclops with an eye patch. <laughs> and how does that work exactly? <laughs> he just aimlessly runs around. Ah. It ah. Doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. Ew, no. Is that all you do? What is happening? Oh no. Oh no. Up oh, and big boy's gone. His face. Look at that turtle-looking one's face. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, great job. Yeah, but that biggest one didn't seem like he was all that. So angry right now. Oh, no I fire. To obliterate all of you, but I cannot even begin to imagine the fourth finest demons. Uh, oh man. Or as they're now known, the second finest. Uh, true. Look, he's no oh, look at that picture. Sweater, so, which is in an undisclosed location. Hmm. Just bring him to me, and I'll rip out his soul. Okay. A anything? Back, you live. Any, any, any words? <coughs> the coughing. Fail, and I destroy you. Oh, that got them going. Oh, jeez. Yeah. We. Oh, that's so cool. And bye. Oh, look how that look how that looked <laughs> with the gate. Nobody works a room like you. Oh, Wayne Brady's such a pro. Such a pro. I mean, number one's got to do it. Too. Mm mm. Yep. Yep. It's opening again. We're playing the music again. <laughs> I can't tell if that gate is stop motion or not. The use of that of that music, that piece of music is so perfect. The demons have entered the arena. The music in this episode's been really really good. There's some really interesting themes going on. Again, I in the, the fall setting. Oh, I love the colors. I like this. They're in the hay maze, so it, it's gonna look like they, like, you know, updated their attraction to be scarier. Get rid of Bright Boy over there and Cuphead's all ours. Hmm. Oh no. Look at Dice. Dice playing the game. Ooh. Oh! Ouch. You two are monsters. Never turn on me. Genius. This is the worst one yet. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, good job. What is your deal? Stop that. You need that you need to stop this one. Burby, buddy. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this tune. Wow. <laughs> I could listen to him do that all day. I say we still have that. Yeah, we still have that vulture and the cyclops. I don't even know if he even found this place. Ugh. Ugh. Cool. That was and different. Oh no, don't let that touch you! Ow. Uh oh. Neat. Cuphead! Mm. <laughs> How are you get rid of this guy? <laughs> it's like it's just you and me, pal. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Never mind, that's how we do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, look at the towel! Uh, not so good. It's got a Marge Simpson Dice thing going. Is the only one left. Dice is just bopping. Then I have but one final recourse. A four horsemen. What? Mm. They're untamed by Ooh. I'm intrigued. Not them! Uh, 
Release the horsemen! I love how they. Oh, yo! I I kind of remember these guys from the trailer. Oh, that is gorgeous! Hell yeah! Uh oh! Yeah, the horsemen look so good. Up. Oh. Beautiful silhouette. I'm gonna turn around and you're gonna be holding that stupid. No, it's the horseman. I like how they tied in the horse head with the horseman. That's pretty good. Everyone's being frozen in terror. Oh, look at that. Look at those horses. Hi. No way. What a twist. What a twist. What a great twist! Just like that. That feels better. <laughs> Horseman number two is right. Our horses ran away. That means we get the rest of the day off. Oh. They got pumpkin pie. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. I love pie. <laughs> They're not so scary. Oh yeah, we got the day off. <laughs> oh, poor devil. I ain't too worried about it. Remember when the devil visited them at their house? I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I would be though. That does feel pretty good. He's not gonna rest. Oh. <laughs> if you want something done right, do it yourself. I guess you have to do it yourself. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh no. What are you Freaking doing stickler. Here? Oh no. Within a 30, day period, 30 days? To its original owner. Oh, and damn. Days no way. No way. Stickler, stickler, oh, he's not happy. Stickler. You won't be around to see it. Oh. Sweater? What? Penetrable, invisible. Beautiful. Shadow. I myself. Smart. Undisclosed location. Take it off this instant. <laughs> so I can I kill you. you. I will eat your soul. Oh, yo. God, he's so freaking amazing. I love this character. He's throwing a tantrum. Get it. Hmm. We won't be seeing the last of him. Cuphead's soul is fine. It's safe. Oh, God. Oh, we'll see. Is he stuck in the elevator with him? Oh, shit. No. 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 Oh my god, end me. Oh, I'm in pain. Mad. Luke Millington Drake. Your devil voice is just absolute perfection. I remember I said it before. I was like, it reminds me of something like Dan Castellaneta would come up with for the voice of the devil. Grant, he does voice the devil in Futurama, but I feel like this would be something he would conjure up as well, voicing a different version of the devil. But man, it's so good to have to have that episode and to see that character again. Like I said before, he just like he he has such a presence when he's on when they when they have him on screen and just from everything from the voice acting to the animation to just the storyline. It's just such an epic storyline. So whenever they do involve him, it's some of the best episodes of the show by far. And the 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 constant gag of well, what or two? There's two like consistent gags in this episode. One was the where he would constantly get so angry he will just engulf everyone in flames and kill all his demons. And then the other one, every time someone got released, <laughs> it was the same music, same shot. That is brilliant, super brilliant. And oh, and the the twist with the four horsemen when he show when Bugman shows them the the horse's head that would freeze Cuphead, you know, in terror. <laughs> and it scared the horses. 
And it's this unassuming, like, horse head that's honestly not very scary at all. And for some reason, it has this effect on them. It's brilliant. And I like how the four horsemen, you know, when they weren't on, they're just regular dudes, right? They just want to have fun. Yeah. No big deal. Yeah, they got the day off there. That was quite brilliant. But man, I wonder where now things go with the devil. Now that he doesn't have a claim to Cuphead's soul anymore after the whole 30-day period, very much how like, you know, refund policy works. It's re refund policy works usually like 30 days and whatnot, right? So he's not done. He's definitely he has he's still he feels cheated still, and he's not gonna end it doesn't matter. He it's this is not gonna end with him. He's gonna go after that soul. He wants it. Even though he has no legal claim over it anymore, he's still going to go for it. And that moment being stuck in the elevator with, Str with uh, Stickler was really good. And Stickler having the the sweater was a really nice touch. The second he hit him, I was like, oh, wait, no, he's probably fine. Good stuff. Good stuff. I All season, I've been wondering when we're going to see the devil. And we finally got it, and it did not disappoint. A lot of great moments. Super great episode. Definitely one of the best of this season by far. Um... I can't decide if it's my favorite yet, though, or not, because I, I really loved the Calamaria episode. I really loved that one, but this one definitely rivals it. But yeah, I'm excited to see where they go with the next episode. Um, We still have some more bosses we haven't seen yet based off the trailer. There's definitely more we haven't seen. Whether they are going to have prominent space in an episode where they just kind of have a glorified cameo, because we had those. But yeah, folks, let me know what you thought about that one. I'm sure many of you were really excited for me to see this one, especially because I've been asking almost every other episode, you know, where's the devil? So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this one. And just, uh, that was brilliant. I love that one. That one was so good. It was so funny. But yeah, have yourselves a great day. That's all I got for you today. Have a good one.